guys, welcome back to Tira Itana. My name is Abby, and today we are well, I'm gonna be doing the chakra healing video from the beach. Um, I'm waiting for Bay to come because she's by the car, but anyway, I thought I would take this time to like do uh, this week's chakra healing video. Um, we have a new moon in Gemini on Monday. Um, the sun is in Gemini, we have a lot of air energy, um, and it's kind of interesting because the cards are hinting at other things. But I'm gonna keep it really sweet and simple. So there's gonna be one card pull for each chakra and that's gonna be the general message for that specific space. So I'm trying to see where Bay, when Bay is coming because she should be walking here any second. Anyway, so with the FYI in my background, um, the further chakra, the card that I pulled was the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is very interesting because um, especially in the root chakra, this is very Oshun energy. Um, this is also hinting at passion. This is why there's like the flowers there. There's also that light that she's holding, that enlightenment that she's holding, that uh, initial flame that leads to uh, the next step of what she wants to initiate, what she wants to do. So in the root chakra, there is like this energy of uh, kind of like a, a refresh of a new intention that will lead to more stable foundation. Bay is still not coming. Okay. <laughs> so a new intention that will lead to a more stable foundation is something that will be beneficial to you um, in the long run that will uh, kind of cement its way as the fire burns, as the fire is almost like the weld it together. Like I'm seeing something welded together through fire, through flame, um, being melted into a specific shape there's just something that's coming into its fruition in some way that will solidify but right now there's a lot of things that are being um that are being asked of you just kind of put it put the, the, just go with the flow as things stay in motion um so that way we can all continue riding the wave of what our lives are supposed to look like um not just like the stagnation because the queen of wands is it's the opposite of stagnation she is pure movement pure fire pure the spreading of fire the spreading of energy um it's that burst of energy you get when you wake up and it's just really important to look at your root chakra where where anything any area that you feel that you've been stagnant that you've been slow that you've uh have been kind of you either got already the messages that need to be changed or like you f you feel like something's coming then you're just gonna have to kind of go with the flow of what it looks like now the next card for the sacral chakra we have the ace of pentacles and this was really telling me is to pay attention to your body um because in the pentacle side it's almost like we need to focus on um our vessel our physical form um especially for your womb space um, make sure you're going to the doctor, make sure you're getting yourself checked out, um, just to make sure you're like everything's running smooth, you don't have to worry about anything. But in the physical form, there's a need to either feel, uh, it's almost like having confirmation physically. Um, it's kind of like an unexpected blessing, whether you've been trying to attain a goal, trying to lose weight, trying to, um, track whether it's wealth or money or friend, whatever it is it's a it been a goal in the physical realm that, that you've been trying to attain trying to manifest from your womb space and it's kind of coming to fruition now there's um a level of uh i have sand everywhere yeah maya had me rolling <laughs> she had me rolling on the damn floor anyway oh bay is coming so there's kind of a level of wanting to having something manifest that's been trying to kind of soaking for a, like a long time and finally it coming to fruition um but i do feel like this is about the body especially now as the summer season approaches and everything you're gonna make sure that you're in a good place that you feel good that you're um right here, I want one saving your coins for the things that matter and stuff oh it's a doggy hi doggy hi doggy Hello. there's literally doggies everywhere oh. um Oh my god, Bay is so hot. Anyway, so with the Ace of Pentacles. Hi. I'm the, yeah, a little bit. What? <laughs> Real quick. Okay. Um. 
have to refocus because May is way too cute. Well, can I get the Maria cookies? <laughs> It's hinting at a fruition of some some fruit that has developed from any intention that you've been that had been set earlier in the year. Um, this summer, kind of, it's going to be a lot of eclipses, especially in Cancer and Capricorn. So there's a lot of uh, developments that are happening from the earlier part of the year, from January, from when we had that first eclipse in uh, Capricorn. Um, we're, we're starting, we started the year in an eclipse in Capricorn, we're ending the year in an eclipse in Capricorn, so there's a lot of Capricorn, and this is like a midway point in the summer with eclipse in Capricorn, so there's a lot of Capricorn energy, so there's a lot of stuff developing from early intentions. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. For the solar plexus, we have the tower, so <laughs> there's going to be something this week that triggers, ow! Sorry. <laughs> getting attacked it's, my, it's not by the cards it's by bay anyway so the tower for this week um there's something about the ego that uh is gonna kind of get shocked out of nowhere there's kind of like a structure that is this is a different path that needs to be taken um it's almost like you thought you were driving a certain way and you were driving to one direction but then you're gonna have to flip the, the, the coin and just kind of try a different way that might seem like it's longer but if might be a necessary step um, for whatever reason like you won't know why you're getting pushed into whatever it is but it's there's a purpose and a reason why and you might find out later as most of us usually do um, but the tower when it comes to your ego you're gonna get challenged this week um, to kind of release a state of thinking that hasn't has been holding you back from actually achieving your highest potential it's almost just because this is always uranus right so uranus is always wanting you to upgrade your thought process upgrade your personality your the status quo your um relationships your your status your friends um your thinking your education whatever it is technology whatever it is he's always ask, asking you to upgrade um your thinking so when it falls into the ego space it's asking you to be a better version of yourself by not holding yourself back with old ideas um, so there's something that will kind of move and keep pushing the trajectory because the other thing about Uranus is that he doesn't care how he gets this done this energy is very um, out of nowhere out of the blue that's how he is he's very unexpected energy but it, it comes with a purpose and so it might not feel good at first but it's necessary and that's just kind of what you need to understand going into it now for the heart chakra you have the five of wands this week so there's kind of the feeling of conflict this is also the feeling of uh, passion this, some of y'all may be having some happy Sorry. times what it's in one of the bags i think it's in this one yeah um so for some of you this is very um this is sexual activity <laughs> that's the best way i can put it i guess uh, but this is a lot of passion a lot of it could be conflict, it, could, it, could, it can come off in different ways, um, especially in the heart chakra, it's, it's, it's an ignition, like as it is portrayed, here's an ignition of something that could either blow over as something or it could just be passionate ignition, it could just, it's in whatever way it manifests, it's something that is causing a fuel to a fire. So if some people have been waiting to meet someone, then you'll have that moment this week if you have been in a tense situation where something has been building up into a kind of a peak um, of like a ward like situation with someone where you're just like going into battle and getting into a fight or something like that that is gonna happen this week um, if you have been if you have feeling if you've been feeling like you're not inspired or you're not like uh, like being full your, your creativity is like blocked and all these things are happening you might get that spark this week um if you have been if you already had learned and achieved a lesson from a different part in your life like you have already successfully i guess passed the lesson of the last lesson that you went through this 
Uh, the next step that you will be moving into, this is a triggering, um, especially because of the heart chakra, this is a triggering. So this, there's, there could be a triggering of uh, like past life, like trauma situation happening, like a new lesson begins, but you won't really know what it is, but it will, will ignite a new part, a new chapter of your life. Um, so there's kind of a lot of stuff going on in the heart space, but there's a lot of fire, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of... Um, It's almost, but it's kind of like, there's kind of a need for it. Because it's either you're going to be like stagnant or you're going to be um, really, really just bored or really like depressed or really like it, whatever it is is a necessary, um, sorry, I'm fixing it. Huh? Huh? I can't. She made a sandwich and you wrapped it up. I, I'm full. I just ate like a whole watermelon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, um, so there's kind of like a need to have this because it's like you need to have passion for life. This is like one of the things that happens. Problems occur because you're not always meant to be happy. I'm so sorry. Did you um, give me that? I want for the what? This? This? I don't know if I'm going to get to give it to her. I guess I'll save it for the end. Maybe I'll get to give it to her. Maybe they won't let you. Okay, then never mind. Here. <laughs> there you go. You have to help me, honey. I can't bend down. <sighs> no. That's like the highest I can go. There you go. You see? Made it work. <laughs> okay. So, continue on. So, there's like, there's a need to always have passion in your heart. Because when you don't have passion, you become very complacent to life, to everything else that's going on. So it's a necessary, uh, sorry for all the <laughs> little interruptions, but it's a necessary um, part of the journey to feel passion, to feel the fire, to feel the flame, to feel connected, to feel like you have to fight for something, to feel like you need more, like there's something calling you, there's something else, there's some, there's, like you're, you're not done, like the game's not over yet. So um, that's really what's going on with the heart chakra this week. Uh, for the throat chakra, hilariously enough, because this is the deck of Santa Muerte, we got Santa Muerte, which is the death card. So for my peoples who were having, I mean, death has been a theme for a minute, has it not? Um, I know I didn't do last week's because, and the week before that, because I've been in California. Um, so I spent the full moon in Scorpio in California, and it was insane because while I was there, it's been the theme for a while has been something more different for me. And we got to Mexico, got I had so many experiences with her as well in California um, and in Mexico. It's been a very, it's like death has been around. Even yesterday, I had an experience at my job where I actually had an anxiety attack at work. Um, and but before I left the house, I had asked, I asked her, I was like, hey, you know, keep me protected, you know, especially at work, um, just because, you know, I, first of all, I just don't, I, I don't trust being in that space anyway. So I always ask for protection at work because you never know what people's intentions are with you and stuff like that. So I asked for protection and I got to work. I felt was feeling kind of dizzy. And so I went to the hallway to go get some water and all I remember is like I woke up on the floor and everybody's face was on my face and one of my friends who is a Scorpio so talk about Scorpio energy following me around um, he was behind me he was holding me and I just was constricting like my hands were constricting and I had a panic attack and he was trying to tell me to breathe and everything and he was trying to get everybody off my face he was just he, he came to the hospital with me super sweetheart um, he's like one of the dopest people in the, in the store um, that I just honestly love because he's just so uh, genuine he's, I mean he's a Scorpio so of course um, but he's very genuine he's very sweet and uh, we have like healing hugs that we always give each other uh, we're, a healing hug is basically a hug that lasts longer than two seconds so we like actually stay there for a second and just check in and be like hey so uh, you know I'm having a kind of crazy day or like whatever we'll like have a little we'll pick something that's in our mind and then we'll just say it and it's just like a really nice moment and um, so he really took care of me yesterday and then um, until Bay got to the hospital. Um, and so we're at the beach today just spending time with Yamaya and like enjoying and getting smoked by the ocean. But um, 
it, it was a very insane time because when I was in the hospital, there's so many things that kind of happened, so many little moments that I was putting together when I realized while I was there that the, I was not supposed to be at work that yesterday. Um, and so I was forcibly taken out of work and I realized that when I was in the hospital because all of a sudden, people, it's like the numerology started coming in and like different things. Like I, there was this lady, and I know this is gonna sound just like, oh, that's just somebody saying something random, but somebody had said my name. I was, I was sitting in the room and Bay was, she was kind of sleepy, she was, she was really tired. And I was just listening and I noticed that somebody said my name. And so I look up and she's like, she said, Abigail. And then she said, um, November 3rd, 1997. And uh, I was like, okay, I already know that Scorpio. Um, that specific birthday happens to be the birthday of the first girl that I felt for ever um, when I realized that I loved women. Um, so it's kind of, it's a very significant and all of a sudden it's, it was just like Scorpio, 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 like death, 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 death. And then I started kind of putting together different moments of the day where it was just like death, 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 like you're not, you weren't supposed to be there. Um, you were supposed to be checked in here and it, it was just like um, a really interesting experience when you ask for protection and then you end up somewhere else because you don't know what you could have missed or you don't know what you could have what you, what you could have been exposed to and I just thought it was kind of really interesting so I was protected just not in the way that I thought I was gonna you know it was it was just it was interesting so in the throat chakra with Santa Muerte in the throat chakra um, this is the throat chakra deals with communication so it deals with pure Gemini energy fueling your mouth because Gemini's rule the third chakra so when we go when we're talking about um, well the throat chakra so when we're talking about um, healing this and actually working the death energy because this is Scorpio energy um, this is about really releasing verbally what has been holding us back uh, because there has been things that at this point we just really need to let go that we have just been really holding on to that is just not necessary but we haven't verbally stated it and it's almost like there's this thing that people say about how when you tell a friend that you're gonna stop doing something you actually are more likely to not do it because you already told someone you set the expectation with somebody else to check you for not actually doing it so it's like there's a, a, a need to just speak it into existence, to finish it verbally, to say this is done. Um, also to communicate. If some of you need to work with Santa Muerte, definitely communicate with her because she's very nurturing and she's definitely very quick when it comes to protection, when it comes to being there. So I would definitely recommend doing more research on her if that's what you want to do. Um, the third eye, we got the chariot. So this, definitely when I saw it, I was like, okay, so somebody I need to move on some things that you already knew was coming. There was some downloads, some information. You've already gotten the messages about this. You've gotten your cards read. You've got, like, it's been, it's been said, it's been done. Like, you, now you just need to move on it. It's the time to really move on the ideas that you had, the, the vision that you set out for yourself, what you wanted to do in the summer, where did you want to go, where you want to travel to. It's action mode. It's time to go. This is like prep work for cancer season as well. So it's kind of like just dive into your intuition and let, your, let it guide you moving forward. For the crown chakra, we have the king of cups. So this is being really emotionally fulfilled and being emotionally balanced. So thinking spiritually, um, this is like meditation, this is checking in on yourself, this is self-love, this is like um, really make sure, making sure you're balanced, really making sure you're in a good place emotionally. So check in with yourself and see where you're at because it's starting with fire and it's ending with water with our chakras this week. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Hi. Okay. Bye guys. I'll see you guys next week.